One of the best ways to create content on YouTube is by vlogging, which is kind of like what you're seeing right now. I'm just holding my camera, I'm looking to the lens, and I'm sharing a story. Now, what gear can you use to actually level up your vlogs? I would encourage you, if you're just starting out, to actually use your smartphone, and that's what I'm using right now. I'm using my iPhone 11 Pro on the wide angle lens in the rear, but is there gear that can actually level up your vlogs when you use your smartphone? And that's why in this video, I'll be breaking down the gear that is essential when it comes to vlogging with your smartphone. And we'll be talking about three different setups varying from $20 all the way to $150. Let's go. Hey, what is up? It is Omar El Takwari with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video. And on this channel, sometimes we do tech reviews, other times we do tutorials just like this one, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now, let's get to somewhere more quiet. So when it comes to vlogging with your smartphone, really what comes to mind is one word, and that word is convenience. The convenience to not have to worry about all the gear and the way you're actually gonna capture the shot, but there is gear that you can invest in to make your job easy, and let's talk about those things. All right, so let's continue on the conversation of convenience and essentials when it comes to vlogging with your smartphone. I'm still shooting on my iPhone 11 Pro, by the way, but the audio sounds awesome because I have a mic boomed. It's kind of gonna prove a point in just a second. But before I get into it, the three different setups from the $150 setup to the $40 setup and the $20 setup, uh, I wanna run through some tests and I wanna run through audio tests. What I found when it came to investing into a smartphone vlog setup is that you might not need a mic and so you can save a lot of money by not buying a mic version, but let's cut to some tests and let's talk about these setups right after. This is the audio of an iPhone 11 Pro onboard mic and I'm holding it with the Rode um, vlog kit without the mic plugged in, let's plug in the mic. All right, now we have the Win Muff on the video micro. There is some wind going on a little bit, but nonetheless, does it make that big of a difference? I don't know. I know the audio does probably sound really good. The thing is though, is um, you're talking bulk. You know, you're talking like, is the audio difference from looking like I'm, I'm carrying around a cat on top of my phone um, or you got cables flying everywhere. But nonetheless, this is how it sounds with the complete road setup. So let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the difference from using the onboard mic of my iPhone 11 Pro versus the video micro. And so with that being said, let's just get started about talking about this setup. Rode did send us this vlog kit, uh, and but they didn't pay us for this video or didn't sponsor this video. So we can be honest about the setup. When it came to actually vlogging with my iPhone on this trip, I found that I didn't really need the mic. Just two practical reasons why I don't think you need a shotgun mic on top of your smartphone is number one, look at this thing. This thing will draw so much attention. People are gonna be like, whose mans is this? Somebody get this dude out of here. That's number one. Number two is because it's plugged into my phone, uh, if I wanted to play back audio, it's gonna be a lot harder to do so because I have to just keep unplugging, play back the audio, make sure it sounded good, and then plug it back in. Uh, when I shot part of the intro of this video, I was using the Rode Video Micro, and the way it auto-adjusted very loud noises um, just blew out the sound completely, not able to even bring it down a little bit. And if you wanna just hear what that sounded like, check it out. And on this channel, sometimes we do camera reviews, other times we do tech reviews just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Well, let's go to somewhere more quiet. So that was that's another reason. And so I think with convenience, I don't know if I need a mic, especially how good it sounds from arms, arm's length distance. And if you're gonna be vlogging, the phone was made to be around a mouth anyway. And so I do think this uh, setup has a place. I think it has a place if you want to invest in more of a YouTube studio setup because this mic is awesome. Like right now the audio sounds great and I'm using my iPhone 11 Pro, but this audio sounds great because I have a mic boomed right next to my mouth right out of the shot and the Rode Video Micro could be used in the same way. You can boom this right out of the shot. Now the second thing that the Rode uh, setup has is a rechargeable light and this light seems pretty powerful. It gets charged by USB-C uh, and it comes with everything you need to charge it up and then it also comes with some colored filters. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever use these, but if you wanted to splash some color on the wall or something, again, if you really wanted to use it for a setup, I think it's a good investment. And overall, the build quality is awesome. The build quality of this thing, it's like heavy aluminum up here and then just really thick plastic here. And uh, I think it's really awesome. Um, a little flaw maybe is the screwing mechanism. It's very slow to screw tight and slow to screw loose. But I would say another flaw to this setup is the height. When you open up the legs, 
it sits really low. And you know, if you really wanted to get like eye level shots, it's gonna be hard, you're gonna have to bend down. It doesn't do too well if you put it halfway because there's like no rubbers here or anything. So all that to say, I mean, 150 bucks is kind of pricey and that's why I wanted to talk about these other two budget options. And what I found was a potential, uh, you know, essential might be a light. And that's why when I found the Ulanzi kit, this comes in at right under $40. <laughs> But this kit just comes with a nice little soft light that is also rechargeable. And um, I thought it looks a little bit more flattering because it's a lot more diffused and it's, and it's a very light light, as in the weight of the light is, is pretty weightless. Um, this is very plastic, um, but I do love a few quirks about this setup. Uh, the first quirk is the phone clamp. The way it actually works by just simply having to put your phone on and then slide down and it clamps is very nice and quick and convenient, right? And then if you wanna release, there's just a little button right here and it just releases and you're good to go. The second quirk I like about this vlog kit is that it packs up pretty small. As, as you can see, it's a pretty stubby little short little guy. However, the selfie stick does extend a little bit so you can get a little bit more distance uh, away from you if you are filming yourself, which is pretty key if you were vlogging and you wanna show more of your background. So that comes super clutch. All these have a ball head so you can angle the phone the way you want it and so you can uh, really get that nice bend towards your face and I think it's super clutch. So this is a 38 or you know $37 kit and we'll post links to everything down in the description below if you wanna check it out. Um, but I love the little quirks about this. I found myself using this more often, but I wanna talk about this next one, but if you're getting value already, smash the like button for me. And uh, the next setup is actually an $18 setup on Amazon. And I found that there's quirks about this that override the other two. The first is the fact that it's just 18 bucks. Like, I guess it's plastic, but at $18, you can't really go wrong. It comes with the phone clamp, comes with the tripod, and it also comes with this, which I'm gonna talk about in just a second. But just so you know, it is very similar to the road clamp, meaning you just have to screw it t um, down, which is okay, it's 18 bucks, it's okay. But it does have a, a ball head as well. Uh, but the two things that are just amazing about this, and I feel like is this is the one that you could go for if you're gonna start vlogging with your smartphone, or maybe you don't wanna vlog with your smartphone quite yet, but just having this in your kit, it's 18 bucks. Like, don't buy Starbucks for two days and you'd be straight. The first thing is how long it extends. This actually extends to like 40 feet. So, I mean, could you imagine that like in any scenario, I don't think I did it all the way, boom. In any scenario that you can really uh, you know, set this down and, you know, friggin' shoot videos, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, it's very top heavy and it could weigh, you know, it could fall if you got wind going on, but the ability to do this is freaking sick. Um, so yeah, it extends to 40 inches. And then the second thing is I did find it to be an essential and that was a Bluetooth remote. This um, Bluetooth remote is rechargeable. Uh, you can just use a micro USB to charge it and it comes with a micro USB. But what I love about this is when you connect this to the phone, your, your possibilities are all convenience. You know what I'm saying? So having the button here to just start and stop recording is super clutch. So if I'm just uh, filming and I wanna hit record, it starts recording. If I wanna stop, it could stop. But because it also comes off, and the distance can go pretty far away. You can like set the phone away and do those th those vlogger things where you you know walk up to your phone, but you don't have to hit record on your phone, run back and then run you know forward. You can just hit record and then run to your phone and then you know get to going. And so I thought this was actually a new essential in my book. And another quirky thing about not having a mic on uh, your smartphone is that it doesn't eliminate the sounds that your smartphone makes. And so my iPhone, when I have it, you know, not on vibrate, when I hit record, it makes like a noise. It makes a like a noise. And then when I stop recording, it also makes the same noise. And so having this button, hearing that noise, I know that I'm rolling and I don't need to see myself because I could just look into the lens. I'm using the wide angle lens anyway. And so it's super clutch. And so Check out these kits down in the description below. And question for you is which one do you think is the coolest one? Obviously, this looks super cool. I got pizza and this girl was like, what the heck is that thing for? I was like, exactly. You don't know what it's for. It just like draws attention. 
Uh, but nonetheless, if you wanna check out a video we did where I built out a, a YouTube studio set up for 100 bucks and it would surround your smartphone from the lighting, the mic, the tripod, the clamp, you can do that by clicking or tapping the screen or check out our smartphone series where we take you on a journey of creating a YouTube video with your smartphone from start to finish and you can do that by clicking or tapping the screen. I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace. Celebrate. This one for the dads, let me dedicate. Head of the house like the head of state. Bring home the cash and the dinner plates.